Before I'm going to show you the battles, I want to give a quick shout out to Sky Trainer Silva for making it possible for me to get the footages of the battles. He was kindly enough to record the footages that I had. So a quick shout out to him. Make sure you check out his channel. He's almost to 100 subscribers, so give him some love. Hit that subscribe button to him and make sure he reaches the 100 subscribers mark. But that being said, let's go dive into the matches that I had in Battle Spot. So the mounts that I'm using are Ledian holding the light place, and Flora holding the life orb, and Noctal holding the scope lens. So in this match, I started off with some Flora just you know to be uh, risky, and we were facing off the Delphox. So I clicked Earth Power, and we are going to take the Fire Pledge and look at that HP. We live on two HP because I had fully investment in my HP. We hit the Earth Power, and the Delphox was gone. I don't know why, but this is why I love using mons that are underrated or hated or, you know, are weak in terms of stats. Because sometimes you, they can surprise you. And Sunflora did in this first, you know, move. And then we started off with Ledian. And Ledian is here for the light screen and reflect, as you may see right here. That is basically why I have Ledian on this team. Reflect, light stream do some work and you will see that in the two following matches after this but as you can see he's usually going for the dragon dance and we are going to take that ice fang because the reflect is up and i thought you know what let's set up the light screen as well now this match he had a del fox as you can see a gyarados and his last mon was a mega metagross so we are surviving that waterfall from the Gyarados and we're going to U-turn out into our Noctile and we are going to save the Ledian just in case if we need to sack off in the last minute we can sack off Ledian. So here's the Noctile with the Scope Lens. Now why Scope Lens? I, in, in first I wanted him to have leftovers but I already had Scope Lens on it and I, you, you know I was like let's go with it and as you can see here we got the first critical hit. So he's going to set up again with the Dragon Dance and I was like, you know what, go ahead, set up, we're going to Toxic you, you're going to die a slow, painful death. So Noctowl is here against the Gyarados, putting up the Toxic and he's going to, you know, try to Ice Fang us, trying to, you know, destroy us. And we're going to take that hit because the reflect is still up and I'm going to roost. And Noctal was actually putting a lot of work in this match. I don't know why. I said it just before. I like mo I like using mods you don't see that often. Are considered weak. They are weak in terms of stats. But they can surprise you if used right. So as you can see here, Ice Fang again. We're living that. We're going for that Shadow Ball. Hopefully we could, you know, crit again or get a special defense drop. Alas, it won't help. Poison is there. So I thought he's going for another Ice Fang or, you know, maybe a Dragon Dance. So let's go into Ledian back again and sack it off. And if he didn't sack it off, you know, maybe we could set up the Reflect after it worn out. But Ledian here is dead, going to take down. The Poison damage will be, you know, taking care of the Gyarados and Gyarados is dead and our last mon was Noctal and as you can see here the reflex just wore up as I said Noctal is here and then the Metagross came out and you know you know he's going to go ahead for a bullet punch and take us out but we only lost this match 0-1 and for me that wasn't great first battle but the next two battles are going to be wild as well as you can see here Noctal is taken care of He's getting the crit as well. But let's see what our second match has to offer for us. Alright, so the next match is wild as well. And also very close. As we take on a Rhydon, a Tentacruel and a Mega Charizard Y. Now the Mega Charizard Y will make sure the Drought comes up. And Sunflora has solar power. But before that, we start off with Ledian. And you know, we're going to take care of the Reflect and Light Screen. As the Rhydon put up the Stealth Rocks and that was very annoying but as I said before we are going to put up the Ref Reflect and the Light Screen here so we have that extra you know defense on our team. But the Rock Blast unfortunately will take Ledian down which was kind of sad but alas Ledian did his job to put up the Reflect and the Light Screen. So I thought you know we are safe to go into Sunflora now 
because Arsene Flora has Leaf Storm, Arsene Flora has Sludge Bomb, Arsene Flora has Earth Power, Arsene Flora is ready to kick ass. So Sunflora is here and he's going to, you know, into his tentacle and unfortunately we missed the Leaf Storm. If we were have gone into Earth Power, that would have been so nice. He's going to put up the Substitute, which is annoying as well, but the Earth Power will make sure the Substitute is gone. And he knows that another substitute will, you know, be deadly for this tentacle. So he is going to switch out before he is going to, you know, die against this Sunflora, which you don't want. You don't want to die against the Sunflora. But this Charizard, you know, you you would thought that a Charizard Y would have had no trouble against a Sunflora, but the Drought, the Drought helped Sunflora so much because Solar Power, Solar Power will activate and with the Life Orb, the Special Attack Investment, this Sludge Bomb will, you know, annihilate this Charizard because it gets the poison and, you know, Sunflora put in a lot of work in this match, but I'm not gonna spoil, the last match will be even more wild. But he's going to switch out because he was afraid against dying against the Sunflora. So, you know, here's the Tentacruel and I thought, you know what, let's synthesis up and Sunflora is back in action. And I don't know why, I said it in the last match, I'm just so happy to see, you know, a plan working together in all because I love using mons that you know are so underrated and you don't see that very often but we are going to use earth power on this tentacruel with the life orb and the draught it will almost take down almost take down the tentacruel but alas I thought now is the good time you know to you know let me see, because he's going for an Icy Wind again, and I think I just stayed in and Synthesis again, yes. I, 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 was in, I was a bit mixed up in my head what I want to do now. I'm doing a live reaction, so apologies for sometimes bad commentary, but Sunflora was actually putting in a lot of work. Just like the Noctowl in the last match with Roost, I was, you know, putting in a lot of work with Synthesis here. So he's going back into his Charizard and I was going for another Earth Power so he's going to avoid that. The Sunlight was faded away so that was, you know, his, you know, loss for words. He was trying to get rid of the Drought and go into Charizard when there was no Sunlight. But I'm going into my Noctal right here. We are going to take Stealth Rod damage. He's going to overeat and we're going to take that very well because Noctal is living on 3 HP and this match was so crazy so he's going to Dragon Pulse will take care of course of the Noctowl which means Noctowl will die but the Charizard will also die from the poison which means that the only mom left from our side of the match was on Flora and he is going to go into his Rhydon no, oh, he's going into his Sunflora first, we're going to Earth Power the Tentacruel and then he's going into the Rhydon, which we know will take care of us because the Icy Wind will reduce our speed and we're going to take care of this Tentacruel first, but then the Rhydon, you know, will take care of the Sunflora. So alas, again, a 0-1 defeat, but our last match Oh my god, you, you'll have to wait and see because the last match was so amazing. But first we're going to see the ride on here taking care of the Sunflora with Earthquake. So that is that, but let's see what happens in the last match of this video. Alright, so this next match was very wild indeed. So we're facing off against a Mega Altaria, a Camerops and a Galate. And we have Ledian, Sunflora and Noctal, don't you forget that. So this opponent is going straight up off the bat with a Mega Altaria. And I was there with my Ledian, I was like, you know what, putting up the light screen and putting up the reflect as fast as possible because that is going to help us out in the end. So as you can see here, the light screen is up, he's going for a Dragon Pulse that won't do much and after that we will 
be setting up the Reflect and we will eat up those hits from the Mega Altaria and we will U-turn out into our Sun Flora. So that is going to happen, but first off, he's going to set up the Cotton Guard. Now, remember, he has the Cotton Guard up. So I'm going to U-turn out into my Sun Flora, as I said. Now, this Mega Altaria will use Moonblast and Sun Flora is going to eat that up. And Sun Flora is hungry. Sunflora is out for blood. Sunflora is on a killing spree in this match. Because first the Moonblast, then he will take care of this Dragon Pulse. He will, you know, wipe that Dragon Pulse off his blades and then the Sludge Bomb. This Mega Altaria is set in his grave by this Sunflora. This Mega Altaria was, you know, poisoned to the ultimate and set in his grave, Sunflora took down hit the Mega Altaria like a boss. Now then this Camerot came in and I was like, you know what, what is Camerot gonna do? Flamethrower me? This Sunflower is not gonna die that easily. Take this Earth Power Camerot and you know, join Mega Altaria in his grave because you are dead. Now of course, then the Gallade will come and Sunflora, you know, was bound to die with only 14 HP left and a synthesis won't help because Gallade will be faster so the Psycho Cut will unfortunately take Sunflora down but then Noctal came in revenge his brethren revenge his comrade Sunflora because Noctal will Shadow Ball the shit out of this Gallade and will secure the win for us with a critical hit so the scope lens and special defense drop my god this last match was so amazing and that's you know stone edge isn't going to help out much but there you go we finally won a match with this team and i'm so very happy i want to thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this leave a like comment share this video with others slash the subscribe button down below and i will see you guys in the next video